Hi, my name is Michael Albert, and I'm a pop artist and juice man, I'm the founder of the Surreal Fruit Juice Company. So let's talk about the work first. Let's talk about the artwork, because I know All that right. inspired you after. So let's talk about it here. Well, I'm just, I just love art, and I've always wanted to create things. And collage. I see you have a book here. I have a book out called An Artist's America. So what's in there? Show, show me what's in there. This is actually an autobiography about me. Okay. And it's about the art that I've been making for about 25 years since I'm in college. I went to NYU and I studied business. Okay. And eventually I got into the food business, became a food salesman really became interested in natural and organic foods and eventually decided to use my art and create my own brand featuring these little characters I created and my own brand name called Surreal. So what are some of the flavors that you carry here? Well our idea is to reinvent the wheel. So we like to take basic classic things such as orange juice, grapefruit juice, apple cider, lemonade, and try to find the best possible version available today. You know, made in state-of-the-art factory, grown under this, you know, organic or all-natural um, conditions. So you said you got, um, so how did you come in that direction of doing juice? I know you well, said the art, but how did you get in that direction? Well, I, I became a distributor of all sorts of natural foods. So I used to sell integral yoga for many years. I had salad dressings, vinegars, mustards, uh, wheat-free pasta, and I had a, a beverage line. And what happened to me is that every line I had, as soon as I started doing well with it, would end up at the big distributors. So I wasn't able to sort of hold on to it and build on my business. So I decided, well, I want to have something of my own, my own brand. And if I did have my own brand, I'd work 24 hours a day, seven days a week to be successful. Because I'd know that I'd be putting my own effort and my own energy into my own thing. And then I could benefit others the way I choose, not just be used to build up somebody else's company so that they don't even give me a thank you very much when it's time to move on to bigger and wider horizons. So ba that happened a number of times. I don't need to mention any company specifically, but I decided I want my own label because I want to work hard and be successful, but I don't want the rug pulled out from under me. You, so You want your own control, eh? Just a little bit. Okay. So what happened is that after analyzing the, all the items I'd been selling, as I said, vinegars, mustards, wheat-free pasta, I realized People buy a jar of mustard and they can keep it in their cabinet forever. Six months, a year, they might never even use it. But with juice, it seems like they would drink it and then come back and buy another one. So I thought that's a good idea. Well, the presentation looks fantastic. These characters, to me, in my, oh, in my dream, are going to be these new icons of the natural food industry. If you think about it, in the conventional market, a little wind going on here, but we could remain composed. In the conventional market, there are hundreds of characters. 